I just yeah. wrote down just in case you needed that, like just a reminder about primary lymphatic. I just did like a page. Um, oh yeah. And somebody did ask me about lipedema, and lipedema looks similar, but it's a different condition. But the great thing is they are all um, can be resolved with all the techniques you're showing. So even your plate would be great for somebody with lipedema. So. Boom. Well, there you have it, folks. You just caught a sneak peek of our situation that we have going on. What's happening? My name is Xavier, and that is my Carol Lori. And today we're talking about the benefits of dry brushing. Uh, so if you are into that and you want to learn a little bit more, this is what I suggest you do. Uh, I just want you to stay tuned, folks. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Master of Solutions, Xavier Smith, AKA Coach X. And I got my, my champion, Lori Potter, wellness coach and licensed pract medical massage practitioner. Got it. Uh, awesome, yay. And yay. We're, gonna get, we're gonna get right down to it. Now, if you didn't catch our episode last week, I have already placed the link to our podcast within the comments. So just be sure to find that link and get caught up. Uh, but Lori, let's do a quick recap. Last week, we were talking about, well, I was talking about lymphedema and you were talking about lipedema. So let's spend about five minutes talking about the difference between the two. Ready, the two. go. Perfect. Well, last week we did talk about secondary lymphedema, which is something you see um, usually in people that have injuries. So if we just go back and talk about what lymphedema is, it's kind of like a, for people that have it, it's an achy, heavy feeling in the legs. It causes difficulty moving. Um, people that have lymphedema, whether it's primary or secondary, could have skin infections. Um, primary lymphedema is something that somebody is born with. So it's kind of like a uh, malfunction or deformity in the development of the lymphatic vessels in the body. So it's not something that they can control. But secondary lymphedema, even though that may not be controllable, is usually from an injury to one of the lymph vessels, or it could be things like the ankles, knees, joints around the lymphatic that cause a disturbance in those areas where um, they're supposed to clean out the toxins through the lymph nodes. Um, mm. Somebody reached out to me and asked me, is this the same as lipedema? Lipedema is not the same. Um, lipedema is a problem with the, it looks similar, but I think the skin feels a little bit different. It's more spongy, usually more dimpled. This is kind of that effect with you see, it's usually even on both sides of the body. That's where you see somebody that looks like they almost have uh, like water stuffed in their skin on both legs. It's very even. Yeah. Um, it's a problem with the fat and the connective tissue in the body. But the one thing that's similar to all three of them is what we talked about was that um, like diet, exercise and movement. So like using that power plate or other tools like we're going to talk about today are yeah. going to help them all. So regardless of the condition, it gives you another tool to help you um, control these things that people have to live with and, and just basically have um, a better life day to day. We all want to live a happy life. We want to feel good. And so I love where yeah. we're going with this. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. And and just to make sure we have a, a clear understanding, because I looked it up too, um, using my uh, fantastic resources at Google. And I was asking uh, what the difference was. And this is what I read. It says where lipedema is primarily a condition that is characterized by the increased fatty tissue in the affected area. Lymphedema is essentially a buildup of the lymph fluids within these tissues. And lymphedema occurs because of the blockage in your lymphatic system, which is a part of your immune system, which is basically what Lori just said. Right. And, the, you know, primary lymphedema and lipedema tend to affect both sides of the body. Um, and, you know, and I'm going to tell you, all three conditions really are 
um, something, again, like these are medical diagnoses. You should talk, if you're having symptoms like this, please talk to your uh, primary care physicians. There's a lot of things I believe about in the natural healing world, but having mm -hmm. somebody to help you manage these conditions. Um, but I also want people to understand that the, the, there are other ways to help manage these conditions because obviously taking a bunch of medication isn't always going to be the answer. So helping yourself um, with any of these three conditions, the best way you can is is going to help have a better life. And so the the only one to me that um, stuck out, which is what we talked about, the secondary, because I think a lot of times people don't know that they have that, especially if they've injured part of their body. Um, they just mm -hmm. assume, uh, you know, that tissue gets enlarged in parts of the body due to an injury. And that usually is true to some extent, but it's also scar tissue and other things building up and you need to address it because with time, um, you could really lose range of motion, ability to walk, all those different things. So, um, yes. but I like where we're going with this. They all do serve um, all, like what we're talking about with your power plate and the movement and what we're gonna talk about today are all ways to help people live a better quality of life. And they're there simple. You go. I love it. And I love simplicity. As a matter of fact, before we switch and change gears and talk about what we plan to talk about today, I wanted to bring up a quick little video so you can see the, the power and the magnitude of this power plate, which is what we were just talking about. So let me see if I can find that quick commercial and uh, I'll bring that up right away. Here it is. You have it. These guys, Power Plate is the leader in whole body vibration. I don't know if you caught any of the, the text in there, but great solution for people who are interested in preventing falls as you age, uh, increasing that circulation. And that's what we're all about, folks. We, we want to give you as many, as much information and as many ways to get those solutions into your life. And that's why I have my champion, Lori, uh, partnering up with me on, on this day. <laughs> so, all right. So we just talked to you a little bit about the difference between lipedema and lymphedema. I just presented you a commercial about a solution that could be that you can get into your life that will help you move without killing yourself in a traditional gym. And now we're going to get into some of the other solutions that might be great for just getting that blood moving, getting that blood circulation uh, circulating. Uh, perhaps like I did out of the shower, I just re, I found my dry brush after years of being missing in action. And um, we can get into a little bit of a story, but Lori, let's talk about dry brushing and its benefits. Sure. Um, dry brushing kind of came about as a, a I want to call it a little bit of a fad a few years ago. I noticed that all of, all of a sudden these dry brushes were popping up all over the internet and so i thought well i kind of want to see what this is about so i started kind of researching the benefits and um it's amazing and it so i thought well i'm going to try this because mm -hmm. i myself have had torn meniscus in both my knees so my um my lymph nodes around those areas where i have a lot of garbage inside the knee cavity sometimes get a little bit clogged up, especially if I do something like run through an airport, which I shouldn't do, but I have done. <laughs> yeah. Or too much walking on the beach, same thing. Um, mm -hmm. So the dry brushing is just kind of a nice little way um, of helping the lymphatic uh, to move. One of the things about dry brushing that I like is, I mean, the goal, I think the reason why people get lymphatic buildup is we move less. We sit a lot more um, whether it's in chairs or desks or cars or traffic. And that lymphatic dry brush is just kind of a way to help put just enough pressure on the skin um, to move, open those gates so that they can move lymphatic fluid through the body. Um, yes. So again, it's just kind of another tool 
Um, I don't think there's, in all the tools that you and I are going to talk about, there's not one that's a right answer. What I feel like is the more you give your body, it's kind of like if you think you're going to a war for health, right? And so I'm going to give myself every tool I can. And this is like a cheap, easy tool that everybody can use. And it's simple. Um, you don't have to do it right out of the shower. I mean, some people, I will tell you, might have a little bit of a problem with it. So if if the bristles bother your skin too much, you could actually probably do it over light clothing. Um, but the trick to dry brushing is just long, long strokes. And you're going to start um, I usually, when I teach it to people, try to teach them to go from the bottom. You can brush the bottom of the foot and then start at the outside of the ankle and go up. And then mm. just like you're doing with your arm, start at the hand and kind of, you know, you can put your arm above your head and kind of brush down towards <clears throat> the armpit. So inside the armpit, you've got axillary nodes. Um, you've got a bunch of lymph nodes under the arm all the way down into the armpit area. And so it is a good thing to do when you're out of the shower because you're uh, you're in God's birthday suit, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <Little naked>. um, <laughs> you know, and um, but I would tell you that you don't have to brush really hard. This is not about digging into your body. Um, it's mm. just about increasing that circulation with nice, long, fluid strokes. So it there actually feels fantastic. Um, it does. I would tell, yeah. I would tell people, um, I think one of the things that I, I've talked about when I teach it to somebody is I like to start from the outside of the ankle and move to the outside of the knee and then kind of come over the front of the leg onto the, come all the way up to your underwear line. So I always yep. tell people, don't forget the whole leg and also remember to do the belly, like the belly. Also, you have a lot of uh, lymphatic vessels, nodes, and you've also got some organs inside that are part of your lymphatic system that need to be brushed as well. That is beautiful. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I can share a little bit of my story. You're looking at a guy who uh, had a saddle pulmonary embolism uh, a few years back where a blood clot traveled from my calf all the way up and deposited itself on both lungs and left me in the ICU for about a week and a half. Wow. So I, am, I consider myself very blessed to be here because years before that, I, I actually had a, a heart attack too. That was when I was 29 years old. So uh, the reason, let's talk about the why, you know, why am I doing stuff like this? Well, I've learned some lessons and I feel like I, because I'm still here, it's my job, my responsibility to help others avoid some of the pitfalls that I've already experienced in life. So, and then when I meet up and team up with people like you who have specialized knowledge and who also want to help people resonate, just kind of go higher in life instead of lower, uh, I think that is a beautiful combination. And I, I appreciate the fact that we, we are have connected and been fast friends ever since, because um, here's the bottom line. If, if I can help you avoid some of these things, why not take advantage of this information? So the question is, have you tried dry brushing? And if you are watching live, if you watch this later, I would love for you to drop your comments uh, because we'd like to know. Uh, post below because I'd like to know. That's what I like to say is, um, have you ever tried this? What's your experience like? Be sure to leave your comments uh, below because uh, you know we, we wanna acknowledge you. And if you are watching, let us know where you're watching from and, and who you are. Uh, so, Lori, what, was there anything else that you wanted to mention? Um, Coach, I was just going to say that if anybody uh, in your audience that's watching wants to um, DM me, they can find me on Messenger, I guess, probably might be the best place. Um, yes. They are more than welcome. I would, I can cam up with them and walk them through just one quick session. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes just to explain it. Um, but I'd be more than happy to walk somebody through. Um, of course, there's always YouTube um, and other resources for these types of videos. The one caution that I would tell people is try to always go from the extremities. So that would mean like the bottom of the feet and the hands towards the heart. And, there you and go. yeah, I would tell people just don't. I, 
I don't think you're going to do any massive damage to anything, but we, we know that the blood return is to the heart always. Like that's the way that we want to do is return blood to the heart. And because this doesn't affect just uh, the lymphatic system, you're also giving blood flow. It's similar to massage, right? So you're affecting circulation. Yeah. So that's my big advice on that is try to take it towards the heart. There you go. And just so you know, I have placed her information, Lori's information right there across the ticker. You should be seeing that uh, somewhere on the bottom of your screen. Uh, she's been gracious enough to um, disseminate her contact information. So please take advantage because what we want to do here is help. Bottom line. Okay. All right. So Lori, um, Oh, and also I should mention that uh, I do have an Amazon store that's created specifically for my followers, my viewers, my audience, uh, specifically for people who are looking for solutions in their life. Uh, and they might as well go to a, a source that they trust, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, everybody that I talk to, who doesn't know about Amazon? So uh, we've created a nice little curated section. Uh, this one, I believe you will find this in the self-care session uh, se section. And which brings us to some of the other tools that uh, that might you might be wanting to use to you know help simulate or uh, create a better situation for your your mind, body, and soul. And what I'm thinking about is cupping. Well, Lori, can you tell us a little bit more about cupping? Oh my gosh, uh, cupping's <laughs> been around for a long, long time. Um, for anybody that uses uh, naturopathic medicine, you'll know that if you go see. Um, uh, a naturopathic doc that's usually one of the forms but cupping is just a form of helping the tissue to be more pliable really that's what it does and so yeah. uh the one caution i would say i know you and i are going to talk about a product we can get off of amazon to do cupping for ourselves. um i always tell people start uh start a little smaller with this and then go big um for anybody suffering from lipedema or uh, lymphedema, where they have an, a great amount of fluid buildup, they might need to work into the dry brushing first and then in movement and then come back to cupping um, mm -hmm. because cupping itself can be a little, um, it puts a lot more pressure on the surface tension of the skin. But basically, it is exactly what it sounds like. You place a cup on and it and you can press on the cups that you and I are going to talk about from Amazon. They'll create and pull the pressure up. So what pulling the pressure on the skin and the muscle up lifts it, what it does is it allows uh, lymphatic fluid and circulation to increase. Um, so mm. these home uh, cupping sets are great. Um, you are definitely don't believe you're going to hurt yourself with them. But I always tell people, read and follow the directions on the package. And then if again, too, it's another tool. If they want help, I can show them. But there's also videos out there you can put lotion on and uh, lift the cups and move the skin. It kind of creates like a vacuum on the skin. And um, again, another tool in helping you to increase circulation and lymphatic movement in the body. So Awesome. And as a matter of fact, I just shared my page to the Amazon store. And let me just click on the cupping product that we're talking about right here. Yeah, I uh, just absolutely so you can... love these. Sorry about that, yeah, Coach. That's yeah, that's awesome. Because I, I have, I have done a visit with my naturopathic, and mm -hmm. she used cupping uh, on a couple of issues, and I came out of that session feeling like brand new, and because this, yeah. this was obviously the first time of that that I had done that, and so it was uh, something brand new to my life experience, but. Uh, if you were to ask me if I were to do it again, I would say yes. Uh, so, so these, the I tools totally to, am in agreement with. You're in agreement. This set that you're showing, um, they the way that they work is you either squeeze the sides um, and you just, can, you'll play with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You'll get a suction on the skin. And then if you push down on the top of that cup, that lure cup, it will increase the, the suction. So I tell people there's different ways to kind of play with that. You can also put just a light little bit of oil or lotion on the leg or arm before you work on those. And then that will allow that you can kind of grab the top and slide. So there's some different methodologies to do with this. Um, but they're kind of a really neat tool. Like you, if you're having pain in your calf, you could pop that larger one on the back of the calf and walk around with it. Um, they'll stay on. Wow. Um, 
pretty well. Every once in a while when I travel, I take that little tiny one and I just kind of bring it for my neck. You get that stiff neck when you're riding on the airplane. Um, <laughs> but they're just such a, another tool to throw in. Like if you're having yep. a problem, I know you mentioned like with your ankle, that little tiny one you could put, you know, down and around the fibularis, the side of the leg, um, mm -hmm. and just see if you can free up a little bit of the connective tissue and the muscle that might be bound. Um, but it's again, another way to help lift that skin um, and the tissue up, the connective tissue up so that the lymphatic and the circulation are moving better. So, um, and you know, I would combine uh, cupping and dry brushing together, especially if you're in between massage visits, this is like a great tool to help you till you get to your next massage. Awesome. Awesome. I, and you know, the reason I like this, Lori, is because you, we're talking about not just one solution that is a, you know, be all end all, but we're talking about a combination of solutions uh, because one size does not necessarily fit all. Uh, mm -hmm. So I love the, the approach that, you know, we want to find solutions that work for that individual person. Uh, right. And, and, you know, coach, like this, I think this might says it maybe comes with a book. Um, again, mm -hmm. they're videos. If you just type in lure cupping um, YouTube, you're going to find videos of people using these. But I think the one thing in general that you and I probably both agree on because, you know, we're aging just like everybody else. But, uh, you know, when you're really young, everything is all about your look and your weight and the scale. <laughs> and But what I think you know as we get older is injuries build, things build up. I think really when we start talking about how do I stay healthy and keep moving, right? How do I keep my body moving? Um, right. All of the tools, the power plate, um, the dry brush and the cups are ways to help people um, to keep connective tissues, joints, everything the way that they should be. Boom. I, just, um, I think, you know, you and I come from a generation, I think our grandparents, I think there used to be this mentality that, you know, you got to 50 and you're old and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like you should be able to move. I mean, and we know that there's there's cultures across the world. Like you look at the Okinawans from Japan and these people are looking right. well, you know, into 110. So it's like, and I will tell you the biggest thing you notice about cultures like that is healthy eating and movement, right? There movement looks different. So here's some tools to keep everybody moving, coach. That's it. That is <laughs> it. I love it because uh, without that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not the fact that we get old, it's the fact that we stop moving, which makes us old. Exactly. Uh, so right. I feel totally 100%, 1000% on board with what you just said, Lori. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, let us know, folks, is, is this something that uh, you have an interest in? Do you know someone who might be suffering from lipedema or lymphedema? Uh, perhaps you know someone who's interested in the benefits of dry brushing. Uh, or perhaps you have someone in your life that is getting up there in age, still wants to be physical, but doesn't necessarily want to kill themselves in a traditional gym. Well, we've got solutions for you, folks. Um, we, we talked about a little bit about the power plate, and I shared a little, vid little video of you know, how this is applied to people in uh, perhaps uh, elder care facilities and how it is phenomenal at helping increase circulation range of motion, and even fall prevention. Uh, so if you're looking for solutions, folks, just let us know because we've got a ton of them. Uh, Lori, what about you? Is there anything else that you'd like to uh, present before we sign off? Oh my gosh, Coach, you and I could probably talk all day long <laughs> right? about movement. Um, yeah. Because it's, I'm like you, it's a subject that's pretty near and dear to my heart, um, especially when you start talking about I, I think the one thing I would say to everybody is I know certain products are you're like, oh, I can't afford that or I can't do that. Um, the dry right. brush range on Amazon, eight to fifteen dollars. Those lure cups are a little more expensive. They run right at 30. Um, I've got, I think, two or three sets of them and I've had them forever. You just wash them with a little bit of soap. You can reuse them. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm glad today that we gave them two very simple, like cheap you know, I know people are struggling in this economy, very two easy, simple solutions. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the uh, the other solution that I say that's always within our power is to eat the best you can, eat as clean as you can. Um, you know, those are, you and I talk about this too. Those are uh, all those foods that have one ingredient. 
and then <laughs> don't come with uh, that don't come with ingredients that you can't say it. If you can't say it, don't eat it. Right, um, but right. just making simplify, simplify life, move. Um, if you can't afford a gym pass, get out and walk the the block. Come back when you're done and your circulation's moving. Dry brush. See how different you feel. Um, right. The cups. You're having you know a rough day getting up in the morning. Get in a hot shower. Slap one of those cups on while you move around and get ready and see, and then just massage your leg or arm or wherever it's hurting. We all have tools within our own disposal that we can use to help ourselves live our best lives. So, you yeah. said it. You said it, Lori. Lori, I want to thank you so much for dedicating a little bit of time to us to, you know, just give out the information out there. I like to say information to transformation. We give out the information. Now it's up to you to let it lead to transformation. And we are definitely here to help. And as I part with you today, I just want to leave you with this one simple reminder. If you really want to be happy, nobody can stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Love that coach. Yes, indeed. Indeed. You got to make those choices, champ. And some of them are pretty hard sometimes considering, you know, what's going on out there in the world. But um, I choose to be happy and um, I'm not going to let anyone stop me on that. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Yay. So uh, stay right there, Lori. We'll sign off. And um, I just want to find my, there we go, find my little uh, sign off. All right, folks, we have done the best we can to get you, get you that information. Hopefully you will allow it to lead to transformation. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.